Leaders from McAllen and across the border celebrate Dia de los Muertos, the opening ceremony held at McAllen Miller International Airport. Channel 5 Judy Gonzalez joins us live from McAllen with more. Judy. Good afternoon, Dina. That's right. This ceremony took place a few hours ago right here at the McAllen International Airport. And yes, there were so many guest speakers. Some of them were Mayor Jim Darlin, the Mexican, the McAllen Mexican consulate, and of course, staff from the airport. Now, the last pieces that were placed on the Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead altar were this morning. You can see some of the sugar skulls right here, some of the pan de muerto. You can see some of these tamales. They look delicious, Dina. I know you want one. But of course, this is a tradition right here in the Valley. And of course, Mayor Jim Darling saying why this type of traditions have such a huge impact right here in the border. Sugar skulls, sweet bread, salt and candles. Just some of the items placed on the Dia de los Muertos altar, also known as Day of the Dead altar. This year dedicated to those who lost their battle against COVID-19, but also a peace and celebration to honor those who have passed but will never be forgotten. In Mexico, there's truly a belief that those loved one souls come and visit at this time of year. So oftentimes you'll see different various uh, food and beverage items that are associated with that deceased loved one. McAllen Mayor Jim Darlin taking pride in how this tradition has a powerful meaning in our border. It's a sharing of uh, customs in our community, you know, and in the United States, um, Halloween is trick-or-treating. In Mexico, it's, it's much more significant. Uh, Dia de la Muerte is we honor the dead, we remember the dead, remember relatives have passed. Two dates with a cultural meaning. November 1st, Day of the Children and All Saints Day, Dia de los Inocentes. And November 2nd, it's All Souls Day, or Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. As for the decision behind the altar being placed here. The first reason being that the airport is the first place that a lot of people, uh, the first taste of the valley and of South Texas that visitors that never have been to this part of the world um, have. And so this experience, I think it's, it's a, a very strong way to share who we are. The Mexican consul says these events are all a team collaboration with the city of McAllen. Now, Dina, we've seen many people stop by this morning to take a picture and just get close to, you know, this colorful altar this morning, which, by the way, will be inside the McAllen International Airport until November the 9th. In McAllen, Yudi Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at noon.